what's up guys, it's Spectrum Reviews back here with a brand new video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at the Justice League Metacom Toy Mafex number 58, The Flash. As you can see, we got the packaging out here, so let's take a look at it. So we got Justice League up top with all the various member logos. Got a picture of the Flash figure on the bottom here, very nice. Got the Flash action figure, Mafex number 58, Metacom Toy. Got a nice full body of the figure on this side of the packaging with the Justice League logo once again. Got a nice little pose of uh, Ezra Miller's The Flash figure right there with uh, all the various member logos and stuff like that. Not sure where these stickers are from, but oh well. Not much more at the bottom. A bunch of unreadables and stuff like that. On the back we got a various amount of uh, poses and such. Um, got him in a pre-running pose here. Got him in a sort of blurred motion running pose right there, just standing still, front and back. Got the uh, Ezra Miller head sculpt as well as the uh, cowl right there. And uh, yeah, uh, seems like that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. All right, here we have the Mafex Flash figure open up and out of his packaging. And looking very nice. Got a lot of nice fine details that are painted and sculpted on the figure. You can see just from the chest right here, you got a bunch of scratches and stuff like that. And apparently a hair. Nice little bonus that came with the toy. Got a few scratches on his cow, probably from running and stuff like that. And then same thing on his, you know, his bodysuit. Especially on the shoulder pads and the biceps. Looking very nice. Same thing over here. Very nice amount of detail on the figure. Got the lightning bolts for the uh, treads there. Never noticed how cool these treads look. Very nice. I mean, yeah, all the paintwork on the figure is pretty much impeccable. And there's not really any paint issues, in my opinion. Got all the nice silver lines that are painted and stuff. Got a little bit of fading right there, but that's all right. Doesn't bother me. Let's look at that head sculpt. My oh my, does that look like Ezra Miller in my personal opinion? Let's get the light shining more on him. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, I like it a lot. I like this figure a lot. I like him a lot more than I thought I would, for sure. So, uh, yeah, now that we've had a closer look at the figure, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at all the uh, accessories and such. All right, so here are all of the Flash's accessories laid out in a sort of <coughs> spider-like pose, I should say. People call them, him uh, the Spider-Man of Justice League. I kind of see it, so, you know, I figured, why not? But, um, yeah, first of all, let's take a look at these hands, man. Let's do uh, this hand right here, probably. I get that to focus. <sighs> Sorry guys. There we are. Let's flip it over real quick. Very nice. You got all the individual fingernails that are sculpted on there. It's not anything special or anything, but I mean, for a six inch figure, that's some pretty damn good detail. Uh, yeah, quick look at all his hands. He has, you know, a couple of pointing hands, some uh, wind aerodynamic hands, I should say, more relaxed hands, and um, I don't know what you would call these. But yeah, let's get a look at that head sculpt. Looking very nice. Looks almost just like Ezra Miller, in my opinion. Actually, it's pretty dead on, to be honest. You know, Medfex has been nailing it lately for, with all these uh, nice head sculpts, for sure. Alright. Now, on to articulation. <clears throat> Alright, looking at articulation for the figure, let's start from the head down. He can look eh, almost all the way up, I want to say. Yeah, that's Eh, it's good enough for me. I mean, he has an ab crunch, so, you know, whatever. His uh, head and neck can tilt from side to side. 
back and forth and you know what have you they're all on all ball joints so they have full range of motion head can do a 4 through 60 rotation uh, shoulders can do 4 through 60 rotation um, the shoulder pads accommodate for the shoulder articulation just like so and they are individually articulated as well got a nice bicep swivel in there nice and tight double jointed elbow right there got the famous Mafex ball or ball wrist pegs I want to say where they rotate at two points and they you know can either do this or you can do this if you position it the right way dash wheel in motion got nice ball joints in the uh, ab and torso here so we can crunch forward about that far not too bad crunch back about that far also not too bad got the drop down leg oh you can rotate at both points as well if you so wish got the drop down leg method kicks forward that far very nice kicks back eh, I mean he has a little bit but like you know what are you gonna do got an upper thigh rotation right there nice double jointed knees which bend in this far um, something that I do want to bring up is when you're fully bending his knees if you see that slight gap right there please be careful as um, sometimes his knee won't go back in so you got to push it just a little bit to get it back in there just like that um, got the famous ball or er, ball ankle pegs for the feet well actually these are ball joiners so never mind so it's kind of like Superman's feet and he has the uh, toe curls as well so uh, yeah on to size comparison size comparison dogs here we have the Justice League Mafex Flash next to my Mafex Superman from Justice League, Mafex Batman from Justice League, Mafex Wonder Woman from Justice League, and Mafex Joker from Suicide Squad. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he scales pretty nicely. It's not perfect, but it's passable, and I like to pose them all together. So, yeah. Final thoughts, comments, and concerns about this figure. Um, my biggest concern is that, well, I don't know if I want to call it a concern, but, like, this figure came, it was brand new, you know what I mean? So, like, I expected it to have slightly tighter joints, but the joints were almost as if it, it had uh, experienced some play before I had gotten it in hand. Now, it was brand new, you know, the package was taped and everything like that, um, and I trust the seller that I bought from, I bought it on Amazon, but like, you know, so it's, it, I guess you could call it a QC issue, but like, it's not really a QC issue because like, I don't have to take a hair dry to it, to the uh, joints or anything like that, so, it's like, a double negative you know what I mean it's positive on one side but on the other side it's like in the long run you know he could fall apart potentially but um yeah I mean dude this figure looks incredible you know it holds poses it, even with the looser joints it holds poses really well like I'm gonna give credit where credit is due Mafex with their Justice League line and even my Suicide Squad Joker dude these figures have held up like, I, I, I just bought Superman and Wonder Woman, you know what I mean? But, like, Batman and Joker have held up way better than I expected them to. Like, for sure. Now, I don't play with these, like, all the time nonstop because these are not toys. These are, you know, collectible masterpiece-level action figures. That's what these are. You know, these are the, uh, the more playable versions of the hot toys. That's why these are a thing because, you know, you want hot toys, but, like, you don't want to sit around and play with them as much as you would something like this. You know what I mean? So, now they're not perfect figures by any means because one of my biggest issues is probably the fact that this is slightly raised higher than this uh, flap over here. But, you know, again, it's easy stuff to fix. You take a hair dryer to it, bam, it's done. Put it in cold water, it's good. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have any more complaints about the figure. Joints aren't terribly loose, and I mean, I can, you know, look up how to fix them if I really want to. Um, do not try to tighten your joints with super glue, please, because my Mafex has him two Spider-Man's legs broke off because I tried to do that. So, you know, be wary of that. Um, there are other method methods out there, I'm sure. But yeah, super glue does not work well with these guys, especially not in the leg region. But, uh, yeah, in terms of a final rating, um, I want to say I'm going to give him uh a nine because you know the sculpting and like the detail and the paint and stuff like that makes up for all the all the figures issues 
Um, I love this guy to death. I'm, he's a wonderful addition to my collection. And yeah, this has been Spectrum Reviews, and I'm rolling out. And I will see you guys later. Peace!